Fellas, RJ from Reality of Fitness here. Today we're going to be discussing scam artists, particularly scam artists in the fitness industry because this is a fitness YouTube channel. Therefore, it's relevant, I think. What I want to get into first is the telltale signs of a fitness scam artist. One of the biggest signs is they have a gimmick. And it's a really cheesy, really stupid, semi-scientific sounding gimmick like Bird fat, four times faster than normal people. I see some of that um, on these diet pills, which are complete nonsense. You know, most of these diet pills, it's literally just caffeine pills. They do nothing for you in terms of helping you burn more calories. You want to know how to burn more calories? Walk more. Run more. Do anything. Literally any physical activity. Do more of it. You'll burn more calories. That's the only way that you're gonna burn significantly more calories. There's no pill that you can take that's approved by the FDA that's actually safe to consume that will cause you to burn a significant amount of calories. There just isn't. Another sign of a fitness scam artist is someone who's clearly not natural, but they proclaim to be. You can accomplish a lot as a natural lifter. You really can. If you look at the old pictures of some of the earliest strongmen and bodybuilders from back in the early 20th century, uh, even the late 1800s, you'll see that these men did have impressive physiques. Like these dudes could mog a lot of the men at the gyms today that aren't natural. And these men had no performance enhancers. They didn't have any kind of steroid back then. So you can go far as a natural. But to see someone that's like 220, 8% body fat and they're like five foot seven and they've got the cap delts and they're just <laughs> And they say they're natural There's less than less than a 1% chance that they are and yet they so boldly proclaim that they are and They push these supplements on you a lot of them end up getting recalled because they're Not safe for human consumption because they're made in faulty little factories in uh, third world countries. The thing that separates these scam artists from a lot of the other scammers in the fitness industry is those kind of people, the fake natties that push supplements made by other companies that are bad supplements, they're kind of like mules if we're going to use the drug trade as an analogy. They're the mules, okay? They advertise and they push it, but they don't create the poison. The actual manufacturers and lawyers and shysty people that create the products and uh, brands that these fake natties and other scammers uh, push on the people, they're kind of like the El Chapos of uh, BS Fitness. There are a few people uh, from the past that we can look to as examples as well of fitness industry scam artists. Uh, Probably the most famous of all time by far was Six Pack Shortcuts. Mike Chang was the face of that. Uh, he didn't run it though, that was run by some other shysty, shady people. But Mike Chang of uh, Six Pack Shortcuts, basically every single one of his videos was like, it was either, look, you can get shredded with just a towel, watch this. <sighs> just ridiculous crap or it would be like look at how much food i can eat it would just be him smacking like sushi and donuts with his mouth open all disgusting what time food flying all over the place <laughs> <laughs> appropriate timing and um he was basically just a really shysty character ran by shysty people a modern example of a fitness scam artist would be Vince, uh, from formerly known as Vince from V Shred. Now I think it's called like Lean Body Sculpt Nation, some stupid BS like that. His whole outfit is literally run by lawyers. Lawyers that are simply capitalizing on people that don't know any better, that are unhealthy and want to become healthy. Uh, women that literally only care about getting a bigger butt. And they sell these people uh, cookie cutter, basic, flawed, 
worthless programs. Really, you shouldn't spend any money on a cookie cutter program unless it's a customized program that can evolve with your needs along with a customized meal plan. You shouldn't pay anybody to just get a, a cookie cutter program, especially one from somebody like Vince who can't even get basic exercise terminology right. The man literally called a uh, traditional deadlift a Romanian deadlift. He called a sumo deadlift a traditional deadlift. And I think he called the Romanian deadlift, I can't remember what he called that, but he somehow got three different uh, categories of deadlift wrong. He called them the wrong thing. It's just, that's ridiculous to me that you can uh, make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars being a fitness influencer, personality, whatever label, and not even know basic exercise, exercise terminology. That just goes to show the power of marketing and superficiality that if you put a good looking face in front of a brand and put some money behind it, people will buy the most ridiculous nonsense because ultimately as people, we're all a little bit lazy and we're all looking for the path of least resistance. We're all looking for the shortcut, the easy answer. But the reality is the answer, it's simple, but it's not easy. The answer is eat less, move more. Know your total daily energy expenditure, TDEE, Consume less than that every day until you hit your goal weight. To, do, to help you with that, you should exercise so that you burn more calories and you should lift weights and eat a lot of protein so you can maintain muscle and build muscle so that you can actually consume more calories because you got more muscle and you're moving more. It's a beautiful thing. But it's exactly what people, honest people have been telling you it is for the past 50 years. Don't trust anybody that tells you that uh, eating less calories and moving more doesn't work, okay? If they say calories uh, don't matter, they're lying to you. Don't trust anybody that promises a shortcut or an easy path, and don't trust anybody that sells $100 ebook cookie cutter programs that aren't customized for you. But that will be all for today's video. This is RJ from Ravelli Fitness. Like and subscribe and share so we can put out some honest and good fitness information out there. And I'll see you maybe tomorrow. Pat Frocka. Ew.